right, my friends of the show that never ends, glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the film of epic proportions, the giant-sized movie known as Jack the Giant Slayer. That's right, Brian Singer directed this film about Jack. Well, basically, it's a fairy tale of sorts with a little extra meat added to it. We've got Jack this time again getting his magic beans and getting the beans stuck on his homestead, growing up to the land of the giants, only this time around he had a princess visiting him in his hut, and the princess ends up getting sent to the land of the giants. And so Jack joins the knights, headed by Elmont, who was played by Ewan McGregor, and they head up the stock to go rescue the princess, as well as take care of the giants and we see the consequences of those actions folks uh i really liked this film okay it's a really decent family film which you don't get a lot nowadays you get either things that are just way over the top cheesy that, or sugary that your pancreas is going to explode or you get stuff that it just you know you're like no i'm not taking my kids to see this but jack the giant slayer is fun for everyone first off you had some great performances in here that I'm sure the parents will enjoy. Not only do you've got Ewan McGregor in here, as mentioned before, but you've got Ian McShane playing a good guy for once. He plays the king, a very good role in that. Loved his role in it. You've also got Stanley Tucci in here. Oh, he just he eats up every scene he's in. You even get a short cameo by Warwick Davis. And there's Bill Nighy in here as well, doing the voice of General Fallon, the leader, uh, if you will, of the armies of the Giants. You also get a couple of young talents in here. Nicholas Holt playing Jack. Uh, he does... I loved his Jack. I loved his character. Definitely held his own in the scenes with these veteran actors. And then you get Eleanor Tomlinson as well, playing a very strong princess role, Isabel. And I really liked her performance. Everybody does a solid job in, in trying to ground this film just a little bit, making sure it doesn't get too campy and cheesy. Sure, you're going to get a little bit of melodrama. You're going to get a little bit of cheese being a family film. And you're going to get some of the... Uh, kid humor in here, but there is a lot in here that's going to touch the child inside all the parents, and you'll appreciate it. The effects were beautiful. You don't need to see it in a 3D extraction in order to enjoy this film. The environments really feel like an actual world, from the production design of the armor and the castles to the oversized giant world and the beautiful scenery and environments that these characters are in. You buy this, in this world. You want to be in this world because it's just gorgeous, okay? The effects were beautiful and handled very well. While the giants did seem a little CGI, it is hard to replicate life, but they did very well with the giants there. And, you know, just in general, I, I really enjoyed this film film. Uh, I'm glad I took my boys to see it. Now, uh, it, it did get a little predictable at the end, okay? It did get a little bit of predictable, which is okay. I've seen enough of these films, and I'm sure the parents will probably figure out what goes on, but I'm glad it played out that way, because I was so into the film and the characters by then, I didn't care about the predictability, because I was just having too much fun watching what's going on. Folks, uh, you know, Jack the Giant Slayer for me gets four stubs, okay? I, I think it's going to be fun for adults as well as kids. And it's definitely worth the price of at least a matinee, if not the full price of admission. Though, like I said, you don't need to do the 3D. But you don't need to take my word for it. What I like about Jack the Giant Slayer is I pretty much like the entire thing. It is pretty interesting story. Uh, the giants? Oh, I thought that they looked pretty ugly, smelly, and they were kind of freak. They were very freaky. No, it's not scary. No. I would recommend it if... I would recommend it. I wouldn't recommend, like, you bring, like, a baby along or something. But, it, because there is a lot of, quite a few deaths in it, there isn't really any blood. It's more that, it's more like they just look a beat up. There isn't really any blood in the movie. I would rate it 4 out of 5. I like the ending. And I like the storyline. And I like Jack. <laughs> Jack was very clever about how he killed the giants. He is, I think he would be like me. Because he's clever and he would figure out puzzles and solve things real easily. Or I actually liked the Giants a lot. What did you like about them? I liked their... How they acted. They acted kind of funny. And what would you rate this movie? Uh, four and a half stars. 
And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that ticket stub. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of Mountain Dew.